G'day YouTube, it's Australia Day and I've got the day off. So we're going to go check out the location of a settlement that was over 200 years old. It's called Yorktown. Should be pretty cool. Let's go check it out. We're in Tasmania, the southernmost state of Australia. The Yorktown historic site is about an hour's drive from Launceston, up the West Tamar Highway. The British made their first attempt to settle northern Tasmania in 1804, and this was the result, Yorktown. It's actually the fifth oldest British settlement in Australia, and that makes this a place of national significance. There are no surviving buildings of Yorktown, but this is a map of what it would have looked like. So this is the site of the first permanent settlement in northern Tasmania. In the words of Lieutenant Governor William Patterson in 1804, he said, I've investigated part of the country in this neighbourhood and being still of opinion that the head of the Western Arm is the most eligible situation for permanent residents. I've taken the liberty of naming it Yorktown. Here you go. In 2006, a team of archaeologists from La Trobe University and local volunteers uncovered the remains of Yorktown. Nothing new remain nothing now remains but artifacts unearthed are displayed at the Beaconsfield Mine and Heritage Centre. Cool. This area was first named Port Dalrymple by Bass and Flinders. They discovered the Tamar River when they circumnavigated Van Diemen's Land, which is now called Tasmania, of course. I'm walking amongst history. find a mountain dragon around here. Harry, I would like to go to Japan too, but it ain't going to be happening for a while. Hey, you want to know what's big in Japan? Yorktown was a bustling village up until 1808. It's all gone now, but the current population of the Yorktown area is 72. I just see dogs. Yeah. But she doesn't know there's a book in there. Oh, there is! There's another! This is a book. Visitor's book. The settlement covered 40 acres, and what's left of the buildings are now buried underground. Here's one of the soldiers, still here after 200 years. There you go, mate. In 1805, this was the capital of northern Tasmania. So, in an alternate timeline, this could have ended up being the state capital. Kitna. Nice to see a real one up close. The biggest problem that the soldiers and the convicts faced was food shortage. Crops getting eaten by bugs and failing in the winter, cows dying, that kind of stuff. Pizza the hearts. Care for a dip? It's pretty blooming hot. Banjo frog. Let's play the banjo one day. While there's no originals left, this is a replica of the kind of hut that the soldiers, wives and kids would have lived in. It's not big, but it would have kept it out of the weather. You can't even go in. 
before you have to rise to the goalie. This is a photo from one of the originals, James Barrett's Cottage, still standing in 1895. In 1807, Governor Patterson proposed moving the settlement to the current site of Launceston, and so Yorktown faded into history. This was a lizard once. Dead end? So we must just walk back the same way then. Well that was awesome, now we're going to go hunting for ice cream, because it's hot. There's a place over here called Shakers, we're going to go get an ice cream over there. I really needed that, it was very good. Australia Day snacks. Well, I had a great time learning about the history of Yorktown, getting to walk around the area and see it with my own eyes. It was really interesting. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Here on The Colling Show, we like to share the sights of Tasmania and beyond. So if you want to join us for more adventures, all you need to do is click that subscribe button. I will see you on the next adventure.